If you're in Tokyo, are you enjoying the early flowering tree blossoms yet? A fantastic pink canvas is heading our way. Today, we we're talking about in this age of distraction, you've only got two seconds to establish a positive first impression as a speaker. Don't leave this to random chance. Plan to establish authority and credibility with your audience in that vital initial window. Today, we look at just how to do that very thing. Welcome back to this weekly edition every Tuesday of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale Kennedy Training Japan and the best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery. We are bringing the show to you from our high-performance center here in Akasaka in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? In this show, we are looking at the critical areas for success in business in Japan. We want to help advance everyone's thinking so that we can be at the forefront, the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. Before we get into this week's topic, here is what caught my attention lately. According to the survey by Women Political Leaders and Kantar Public, compared to other industrialized nations, both Japanese men and women were uncomfortable having female leaders. 52% of British men feel comfortable with a woman as head of government, but only 23% of Japanese felt the same way. In Britain, 65% of women feel comfortable with a woman as head of government, but Japanese women scored the lowest at 26%. 70% of American women were comfortable with a woman at the top of a major corporation but only 28% of Japanese women agreed. In other news, the National Police Agency has put forward a draft bill that would allow vehicles with a high level of autonomous features to run on public roads. With an eye to implementing the legislation in early 2020, this would be a class three level, which authorizes drivers to be able to shift their attention elsewhere and let the system drive except during emergencies and system glitches that would require them to take back control. They would be able to watch television, talk on their mobile phone. The self-driving vehicles will have to record their travel data. Finally, Ibaraki Prefecture, neighboring Tokyo, is adopting cashless payments using smartphones. This is a means of tapping into data-driven marketing. The idea is to allow small to medium-sized firms to offset the scheduled consumption tax rise by rewarding consumers for non-cash purchases. The prefecture is tying up with Origami, a QR code payment service. Ibaraki Governor Kazuhiro Oikawa said, I want Ibaraki to become a promoter of cashless payments. Consumers who use credit cards or cashless payments will receive a 5% rebate on purchases made at small shops. This is episode number 73, and we are talking about speaker first impressions, mastery. So let's get going. How long does it take on average for you to form a first impression of someone new? My presentations course students tell me we are down to two seconds today. Wow. What does this mean for the speaker? It could be in the boardroom, at the networking event, or at the pitch to the client. Regardless of the location, one thing is sure, everyone is a critic and everyone is rushing to judgment. Think back to the last time you saw someone present, be it an update, a project submission, an overview, or a fully fledged speech. Were you indulging a little mental aside? I hope this is good. As you swivel around in your chair to view the speaker, did the speaker get right into it or 
Was there some logistical finessing of the laptop, adjusting the height of the mic on the stand or positioning of the lapel mic? Were they busy fiddling with their notes, uh, sitting on the rostrum? Was the speaker looking at the audience or behind them up at the huge screen or down at their laptop? Did we have some good old hand mic thumping to see if it's properly working, asking, can you hear me? If there are any diversions, then our two seconds first impression formation has come and gone completely. What would help us to maximise this vital two second window? We should have arrived early and checked all the equipment beforehand. Getting straight into the content without any distractions allows us to set the tone for the occasion. Traditionally, we could thank the organisers for the opportunity to present. Doing this with a huge smile would be a good use of the two seconds. Even if nature has not blessed you with a killer smile, give us the best you can do. Or we could jump straight into it by telling an episode, an incident, a story. We love listening to interesting stories involving real life and real people because we can easily identify with the content. We could refer to a member of the audience immediately shattering the mental barrier between speaker and audience. Ann Smith from XYZ and I were chatting earlier and she made a very good observation about blah, 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 blah. This is very smart because audience and speaker become one unit this way. We can build stronger personal connections with this group of strangers sitting there listening to us. After having launched into proceedings, we can now backtrack and use the laptop, our notes, the spreadsheets, or whatever we need to explain the content. Rather than wasting our initial two second window on these adjustments, we instead capture the attention of our audience from the very start. Once captured, let's keep them with us. What else do we need to worry about? Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to become a fully competent and confident presenter, then do the High Impact Presentations course. We are all being judged when we speak, be it in the internal team meeting or in a public environment. Be it the big bosses, clients or an industry audience, everyone is evaluating us. Don't blow it. Get the best training on the planet. Do the High Impact Presentations course now in either Japanese or English. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Sales Advantage course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Sales Advantage course now in either Japanese or English. Welcome back. Japan has a few set pieces. I am sure you will have seen some of these. Have trouble with the technology, not be conversant with the content because one of the underlings prepared it kick off with a perfunctory apology for being a poor speaker, go straight into the boring corporate video. To really set the tone as low as possible, they often look down and read every single word on the laptop screen or the notes in front of them. Non-Japanese speakers, though, are often guilty of the same things, especially jet-setting big shots winging in from afar for a cameo appearance. They think their big brand will insulate them from any damage to their personal brand when they give a subpar presentation. Wrong. Another powerful tool left in pristine condition through underuse is voice quality. Again, nature may not have blessed you with a deep throated baritone or a mellifluous instrument that hearkens the angels, 
But no matter, do the best with what you have. That means speak clearly with sufficient volume so that you can easily be heard. Use the microphone properly by holding it just under your chin and speaking across the mesh. Have some variation in the delivery so it is not totally predictable. Hit key words with a roar or a whisper to highlight them. At the start, go for the roar rather than the whisper. Show confidence through voice power. Slowing the words down for emphasis is equally powerful. For example, this is the moment and deliver the dramatic pause after each word. Our attention is all yours and we are bursting to know where you are going with this talk. Eye power is a must. Pick a single person about halfway down the middle of the venue and start by speaking directly to them. Look at them in the eye. We have now personalised our interaction in that first few seconds and created a connection with the audience. I recommend holding the gaze for about six seconds as this allows for engagement without generating fear of radiation burn. Spend the entire talk selecting one person after another, randomly selected, and speak to them without allowing your sight lines to stray to the floor, ceiling, or the back wall. Keep your eyes glued on your audience. This means carefully instructing the venue organizers beforehand to not drop the lights on the audience or yourself. You want to be able to read their faces for confirmation they are with you. We also want them to be able to see us clearly rather than disappearing into the shadows on stage. We need to commit to owning the first impression and then we can enjoy the glide to the finish. As with most things in life, if you start well, it's easy to finish well. Action steps. One, realise you only have two seconds, so plan accordingly. Two, Get straight into your talk with no interruption or delay. Three, start with an episode, innocent or incident or story. Four, highlight key words by using vocal variation. Keep eye contact with your audience throughout. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show is here to help you succeed in Japan. Subscribe on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Thank you for watching this episode and remember to hit the subscribe button. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalekanegi.com. It's awesome value, so check it out. Please leave me some feedback on YouTube. I would love to know how this show helped and what other topics you are interested in for me to cover. Remember, I'm here as a free resource to help you so just tell me how I can help you best. In episode 74, we are talking about value understanding in sales. Find out more about that next week. So, yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. And we've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.